Hi, this is Corey Good. I'm at Bear Lake up in Rocky Mountain National Forest. Get a look at this. I want to thank everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. If you don't mind, please click the thumbs up and subscribe right away. <sighs> And thousands of people in the last five days or so have joined ascensionworks.tv. Thank you so much. It's a free platform. <sighs> a lot of people had problems because we haven't had that many people sign up before at once. So please, if you have problems, send an email to our support. You know, I really... I really am amazed at um, all of the support I'm getting from everyone about these updates that I'm releasing. I'm going to release, I think, four, maybe five or six episodes because, I mean, it's a ton of information. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about everything in detail, including the Zulu, the SSP Alliance, the crazy, I mean, our solar system has never been so full, so crowded. We have all the bad guys are here. I mean, that's great. We've got that rogue federation that was kicked out of the Andromeda galaxy, causing problems there. Now they're working with the Orion group here and other groups that were a part of the Super Federation that was disbanded. A lot of corruption was found out and proven there. A lot of crazy stuff to report on the disbanding of the Super Federation and the repurposing of their the time they have on the large um, space stations. I'll, some of you that have been following my information for a while will know more what I'm talking about. But let's see. Um, I'm also getting a lot of support on the two movies, uh, first two in a series that we're going to do basically blowing the whistle on the disclosure and ufology movements. There's some very creepy stuff been found out there. We'll also be covering my lawsuits. If no one knows what I'm talking about, go to lightwarriorlegalfund.com. Read all these lawsuits. The craziest stuff has happened. I mean, we even had my attorney who was crossing the street get hit in a hit and run. And the person that hit her ended up having some very strong criminal ties to the Denver area, uh, part of a criminal organization that spent time in prison in this area. I mean, it's freaky stuff. The producers and the director are saying this is like the Amber Heard trial on steroids. It's going to the details, all the crazy stuff. You just have to check it out. But I'll stop and Stacy's here. I'll stop and show while people walk by. We're trying to catch the sunset, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Here at Bear Lake. Regardless, it makes for some beautiful reflection yeah, photos. Yeah, it does. so I can get past the people. Yeah. People stop and then they speed up and catch up to you. It's hard to do videos in public. <clears throat> but, uh, so yeah, please uh, subscribe to ascensionworks.tv and uh, subscribe to this channel. All of these 
mega updates are about to come out. I'm going to start working on them over the next week. Oh, look. Little waterfall. Ah, this is beautiful. Also, while you're at Light Warrior Legal Fund, if you could also go ahead and donate. We've spent hundreds of thousands on legal fees and uh, private eyes and cyber investigators because of all this cyber stalking that's gone on. So beautiful. But, I mean, people did this stuff publicly it, and it co totally collapsed the entire disclosure movement. It was already about to collapse as it was. But a lot of uh, the people I've been talking to are very excited. They've never seen this type of content. This is going to be um, a side of disclosure no one's ever shown. I've been getting contacted by people that don't want me to share. They say I'm going to hurt the movement, but the movement's collapsed. It was infiltrated and controlled from the beginning. And I was a whistleblower for the Secret Space Program. Now I'm going to be a whistleblower for the Disclosure Movement. What has been going on is crazy. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here soon. Um, yeah, I mean, like I was saying, the, the Rogue Federation, all of the bad guys are stuck in our um, solar system now. So uh, here, before too terribly long, all of the armadas that are amassed by Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, they will all be taken care of. Some people are spreading around that these are good guys that are in these locations. They are not. They are not. So, anyway. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Like I said, stay tuned. These mega updates are going to be a lot of fun to deliver, although I... I don't think everyone will be excited about what I have to say. It's mostly encouraging, but a lot of people have had a problem with the, um, you know, not looking for a savior thing. Everybody's wanting to be saved. We've just been through so much, this and that. <sighs> High altitude, sorry. We're gonna have to save ourselves but we're going to have help. We're going to have help. So don't worry about that. The Zulu have been helping the former members of the Global Galactic League of Nations. Emmy has one of the Zulu top tribesmen has been flying around on the Wandering Star with the Secret Space Program Alliance and the former GGLN leaders, and they have been kicking ass all across the outer rim of our galaxy. They've pushed all of the negative ETs back to 14 different star systems. Two of them are in our local star cluster. Unluckily, Sol, our star, and Aldebaran is another one that is under siege, I guess you could say. But, you know, all of these negative ETs that are f being forced into these defense points, they've got nowhere to go now. And the solar event is coming and we also have the clearing out uh, of a lot of these bases that's going to occur by us. Uh, the humans have to take point in all of this. I'm sorry, but um, 
things have been pretty nuts. And the uh, ICC, Interplanetary Corporate Conglomerate, Conglomerate that runs everything, they've had hundreds of their leaders just disappear. And we found out that these were, they weren't really human. They were uh, aliens that incarnated in human body to be able to kind of like have avatar access to our reality and our world. And uh, they've been, you know, apprehended and they're going to be a part uh, held in these cosmic trials here pretty soon. It's really cool how all of that works. They use the natural pulses that go through the cosmic web to that occur on a like a uh, rhythm that occurs through the cosmic web and they say that that is the thoughts basically of the one infinite creator that this cosmic web google it cosmic web are giant neurons firing and creating matter and this reality along with us co with us being co-creators and they use this whole system to judge all of these bad ETs during these cosmic trials and I'll get more into detail about that but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this little walk with me again thank everyone we've had well over a hundred thousand people view my last video where I'm just doing what I'm doing now I haven't really div dropped the bulk of the information can't wait to see how many people see that but until then go back I think I did six or eight SSP official updates and uh, if you haven't watched those and you don't know what all we found out about the Orion group uh, the infiltration we did into their bases and cities on the moon Antarctica and Mars and we got a really good look at what they're up to if you haven't seen those reports go back about five or 10 videos, maybe 12 videos and watch them. Um, they have thumbnails on them that are pretty hard to miss. So please, if you haven't watched those, you'll be lost when I drop these mega updates. So go back and watch those now, please. And you can watch them on ascensionworks.tv as well. Okay, I think we're gonna find a good place for the sunset. <sighs> I love y'all. I hope everything is going smooth in your lives. And I hope you're co-creating the reality that you want. Bye.